colleges, a university and a hospital, all institutions carrying the Turkish name. They are subsidiaries of the first Surat group and some have been in operation here since 1998. But Turkey maintains their links to a cult run by an alleged coup mastermind, Faithullah Gulen, and claims the funds generated here are being used to destabilize the Turkish government. Turkey has formally asked Nigeria to close the institutions, but so far, Nigeria has treated the request as a diplomatic matter, and the first rat group denies the institutions belong to Gulen. If there was anything wrong uh, that we were involved in, uh, even in our country back there or here uh, in Nigeria, this should have come out uh, much, much earlier than uh, anything. So that's why uh, here in Nigeria, uh, we believe that Nigerian authorities uh, would give the necessary response uh, as they already called it, it's a diplomatic issue. In Turkey, the first Surat group is renowned for its criticism of the government. We are simply asking where are those uh, promises that you were going to deliver. If you are not delivering them, then of course, uh, after some extent, I'm going to raise my voice and uh, ask. And if you don't like these questions, you would blame me of being uh, a terror organization or something else. That tells everyone this is politically motivated. The attempted takeover in July is by far the biggest challenge to President Erdogan's grip on power, and he blames Gulen, a former ally, for orchestrating it. Since the failed coup, an estimated 70,000 Gulen followers have been suspended from their jobs, and more than 40,000 have had their passports revoked as they're deemed terror suspects. It's only this week that the scope of President Erdogan's crackdown is beginning to manifest here in Nigeria. The institutions targeted are some of the best in the country. The Nigerian government is likely to consider its response carefully as thousands of jobs and students' careers are at stake. Kilichia Mekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.